Hello, so I just saw this cool CSS demo by Anna Tudor on Twitter today and she was saying in a tweet that she did that demo using just one HTML element and a few lines of CSS. So I was wondering if we could use the Firefox DevTools to kind of understand how this was done. So let's go ahead and inspect here. Let's try and find the element. There we are. So it looks like this, this is indeed the only element in the page. It has a before and an after uh, selectors, but for now we just have this one loader element here. And just to kind of try and understand how this all works, uh, we can see that it has lots and lots of box shadows, multiple box shadows. So I'm guessing that each of them is actually one of these dots here. And we can see using the rules view here in the Firefox DevTools that it, there is an animation here that is uh, using a transform to rotate the element. And if we just mouse over the rotate here, we can see highlighted in the middle the shape that is currently being transformed. So we can see that basically the only element here in this page, um, it's, mo it's rotating around the center. And if we go ahead in a new animations tab here, we can see the animation here that is set to repeat infinitely. It lasts for six seconds. If we just pause it here, we can see the element is only that. It's only a number of dots that are created using box shadow here and um, and actually using border radius to make them round. If I remove these, they will be squares, as you can see, because the box shadow here is just the shadow of the object in the center and it's offset. Each of them is offset by a certain position so that it's actually on a circle here. And two of them are actually, one is the before and the other is the after. And the, these ones are being animated as well, as we can see here, from 0 to 100, um, translated here and rotated. And that's all, actually. So we can see that using the Firefox DevTools and some of the new things like the new animations panel and the ability to see the keyframes here in the rule view and the, also the ability to see the transformation of the element like this is pretty handy and allows us to understand a pretty complex CSS demo in a matter of uh, minutes.